Question number 23, part A. Complete the table below giving the values correct to one decimal place. So the table is there. There are two trigonometric equations. The angles are given from 0 to 360. So we're going to use a calculator to do this. So I'll feed the first equation, that is y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4x minus 2 cos uh, 3 over 4x in the calculator and then I will only be substituting x the value of x in that equation so let us uh, go straight to that and uh, feed so so I'm starting so the equation is there y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4x minus 2 cosine 3 over 4x so the first angle is 90 so just substitute where I have uh, x I'll just substitute that on with 90 so 90 degrees then the other one is 90 so that one will give correct one decimal place this one is 1.082 so correct one decimal place will be 1.1 1 .1. so this one will be 1.1 1 .1. as simple as that so the next one is 150 so i substitute 150 so when x is equals to 150 So that will give 2.6 2.6 to 2.6 then when it is 210 so 210 so when it is 210 again this will give uh, 2.6 again it will give 2.6 The other one is 330, so 330, like that, that will give negative 1.1, 1 .1, negative 1.1, negative 1.1. That is the first equation. The second equation, y is equals to 1 plus 2 cos x, so let me write that equation. So y so y is equals to one plus two cos x two cosine of x. So the first angle is thirty when x is thirty. So just replace there when x is thirty, you get two point seven. 2.7 then the next one is when it is 210 when it's 210 to give negative 0 0.7 negative 0 0.7 then when it is 300 degrees y is equals to 2 so we fill the table uh, correct to one decimal place now let us proceed to the next question part b of the question on the grid provided and using the same axis draw the graphs the two graphs that there the range you're supposed to use 0 to 360 so these are two graphs represented by these two trigonometric equations those values that we have already are filled in that table we're supposed to plot them and draw the curves so we're going to begin with the first one the one that is y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4x minus 2 cos 3 over 4x so let's go to the graph paper the first thing you're going to do is to note the scale that is used in this uh, graph paper for the x-axis one centimeter represents 30 degrees for the y-axis we have two centimeters represents um one unit so it means between that one centimeter there are 10 small squares so the size of one small square we get it by one divided by 10 so one small square will be represented by 0 0.1 that is the first thing you're supposed to do to doing that now we can go to the first curve so we are going to start with the first uh have that y is equals to 2 sine 3 or 4x minus 2 cos 3 or 4x so let us plot 
So we start with the zero, negative two. That is the first point. Then the other one is thirty, negative one point one. Then sixty, zero, ninety is um, one point one. And then we have 120 uh, 120 is 2 150 150 2.6 point six then 180 two point eight we have 210 which is uh, 2 uh, 240 is 2 going very fast here 270 is 1 me first correct these are uh, 270 is 1.1 1 .1. then 300 0 then 330 is negative 1.1 1 .1. so that is the first curve 360 the last one here is negative 2 360 is negative 2 so those are the points or the points that you are plotted uh, for the first curve uh, now we can go to the second curve that is y is equals to 1 plus 2 cos x so the first one is 0 3 then we have the second one is 32.7 then 60, 2, and then 91, 91, and then uh, we have 120, 0, 120, 0, 150, uh, negative 0 0.7, negative 0 0.7, then 180, negative 1, And then 80 negative 1 then 210 negative 0 0.7 240 is 0 then 270 1 271 then uh, 302 302 that is then 330 you have 2.7 and then the last one is 360 which is 3 so those are the uh, plotted points for the second curve so we started from here these are the points so here are the points for the second curve to be very careful with these so there they are now after doing that now you should join those points using a smooth curve using a smooth curve so let us join all the points using a smooth curve you should be very careful So those are the two curves, you've drawn the two curves, uh, ensuring that they are smooth. Uh, now all you're going to do uh, is trade the equations of those curves. So you need to write the equations of those curves. So, so the, this one is the curve y is equals to 1 plus 2 cosine x and then uh, this other curve that is here y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4x 
is equals to 2 sine so y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4 x minus 2 cosine 3 over 4 so using the graphs that is part c uh, using the graphs in part b above you're supposed to find the values part one of x which sign 3 over 4 x is equals to 1 plus cosine 3 over 4 x so that is a question so how are we supposed to uh, solve this question uh, when you look at this question and you try to compare it with the the equation uh, of the first curve the equation of the first curve is y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4 x we write it here so this equation is y is equals to 2 sine 3 over 4 x minus 2 cosine 3 over 4 x so when you try to compare these two equations uh, you see there is uh, some similarities and uh, you're going to write this equation such that uh, you'll have cosine and sine on one side and then you have this constant which is one on one side so how do you do this uh, you shall do this by if you bring um, cos 3 or 4 x the left hand side you'll notice you will get um, sine 3 over 4 x uh, subtract cosine 3 over 4 x is equals to 1 so when you bring cosine 3 or 4 x to the left hand side that is what you get now try to compare this one with um, the equation of this curve that is here the one that i have written here uh, you'll see there is some similarities and the only one thing that is different so this one will be 2 sine 3 over 4 x minus 2 cosine uh, 3 over 4 x now you notice that this will give a um, kind of simultaneous equation and when you look at the first equation and the second you can solve these two equations simultaneously uh, if you want to eliminate uh, these sine and cosine you simply going to multiply the first equation by 2 and when you multiply that equation by 2 uh, you will have this will be 2 and this one will also be 2 and this one will be 2 so this one will be 2 when you multiply by 2 and then you subtract subtract uh, 2 sine 3 or 4 x minus 2 sine 3 or 4 x you get 0 so the left and the whole of this side you get 0 and then uh, for this one you get uh, this will be 1 times 2 will be 2 so you get 2 here so 2 subtract y you get uh, 2 minus y now you notice that this equation 0 is equals to 2 minus y if we simplify this you get the equation as y is equals to 2 and this one is a line that you're going to draw so that is what you're supposed to do in this question by simply uh, trying to compare these two equations and um, solving the two equations simultaneously and you've seen how what i've done i've multiplied the first equation by two and then i've subtracted the left hand side has given zero then the right hand side has given two minus y so when you look at this you get y is equals to two from this zero is equals to two minus y will give y is equals to two so this is the line that you need to draw the graph and solve so now when you go to the graph you need to draw this y uh, this line y is equals to 2 I think that one is better yeah, that one is better so that is the line y is equals to 2 now you need to 
check at what point is that line intersecting with this uh, curve that is here at which point so you notice it intersects with the that curve at these two points we have this curve which is y is equals to sine 3 or 4x minus 2 cos 3 or 4x so it intersects at this point so the first point is this that is here that is uh, x is equals to 120 and also here x is equals to 240 so those are the solutions so the point where the curve intersects with that line y is equals to 2 so this is the point this is uh, x is equals to 120 if you drop down then the other point is here and that one is uh, x is equals to 240 so the solution for that uh, is x is equals to 120 and x is equals to 240 as simple as that now that is uh, how you work out the that part the question let's go to part two determine the range of x for which uh, the range of x for which 2 sine 3 of 4x minus 2 cos 3 of 4x is greater or uh, is greater than 1 plus 2 cos x so to find the range this range we are simply are going to look at the curve the two curves and get the point of intersections of those two curves that is what will give us the range at which uh, for which uh, the execution of this curve the values will be greater than 1 plus 2 cos x i repeat so we're going to go to the curves the two curves where are the two curves intersecting uh, the two curves are intersecting at this point so this is the first point where the curves are intersecting so this is the first one and then we also have this point that is here so they're intersecting at these two points so we have this point here and then we have this point here so that is what is going to give the range so when i read this value here uh the point where the two are intersecting they are intersecting at uh, 90 x is equals to 90 and also this will be th this is not exactly 270 it is giving around a 271 so when you look at this point here it is not lying exactly where you have 270 so we have um, x is equals to 271 it is not a 272 this will be 271 and then this one is 90 so 90 the, the two curves are intersecting at 90 and 271 so that is what you're supposed to do so x is equals to intersecting at this point 90 degrees and also x is equals to 271 degrees so to give the range we need to give this range in form of an inequality and um, to give this inequality uh, x should be greater than x should be greater than 90 degrees and uh, it should be less x should be less than 270 combining these in one uh, this is what you have x should be greater than 90 degrees and also it should be less than 271 this is 271 or 270 271 degrees and so this is the range this is how you're supposed to give uh, that range so that is how you're supposed to work out that question uh, by making sure that you are very careful when you're plotting filling the table of values started by filling the table of values then drawing the curve and then answering the other questions